Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? How's it going? I'm your homeboy, Dog 4 If you all notice that uh, pretty much um, I'm kind of growing a beard out. Um, kind of giving it a new look. Um, it seems like that's a new day and age on people. You know, they tend to see, especially in men, Especially in men today, they tend to see the grow their beards out, you know, and everything else. And for me, it's like everybody seems to like my look on how I have my beard and everything. And I would, you know, it's just, it's a new look, it's different, it's a. Uh, getting used to it um but other than that I, what I want to talk about is that people that use like Denmark or uh basically a Denmark technique um they say oh you have to harness your chi and all that you know this is another uh, thing that I came across on a video this morning. Um, it's a little discussion that the dude had in the video. I'm not going to mention no names because um, he made a topic of people using using Denmark um, to break things. You know, to you know, to harness their chi to break bricks. Well, to me, breaking bricks, breaking bricks, it's for showmanship. Breaking bricks, it's for showmanship. Yes, does it take required a lot of skills to break bricks? Yes, it does. I have never broken a brick myself. Have I ever always wanted to try? But maybe if I had the right teacher and maybe somebody that could teach me on how to break, break a brick, then I would probably be able to do it. But the thing of it is, is that most of the time, most people nowadays, you know, they wear their head to punching bag, you know, with gloves on, they wear their head, you know. I mean, I train either. I train with either without gloves or with gloves. But the thing is, you don't harness your chi. You know, you can't harness it. But you can develop it. You know, what I mean by that, you know, by developing chi, developing energy, um, you know, through all the training you do into your training, you develop energy that way to stay in shape, be active, and everything else and that's the thing most of the time most of the people you know they tend to see to they tend to see to, to you know think some bullshit of oh breaking you know yeah you know it might be a sport you know and everything but I look at it this way folks I look at it this way if if you are freaking breaking bricks you know, it's because I don't break bricks myself, and I don't try to show off my skill that much, you know, because really technically, bricks don't hit back. Bricks don't hit back. You know, I'm sorry. Bricks don't hit back. Neither do boards. Boards do not hit back. You know, they ain't a real live opponent. And when it comes down to it, you know, breaking bricks and breaking boards is just showmanship. It's just a person trying to show off their skill and their raw power. That's all it is. And all, all it is, it's in the mind. You know, if you, can, if you can break a brick and go through the brick itself, like for real, if you could break a brick or break a board, you know, yeah, board is pretty easy. You know, anybody can break a board with a palm strike. 
Anybody can break a board with the palm straight. And anybody can end up, you know, doing the things they do in their martial arts training. Any, you know, with the requirement of practice, years and years and years of doing the right technique, proving your skill, you know, proving your technique and everything. You know, yeah, your body becomes hardened to those conditions. You know, you see these hands here? You see these hands? They're hard. They are hard, not soft. I hit the bag for so many years. I hit the bag for so many years when I was younger. When I was younger. And I hit it without gloves. You know, that's the reason why most of my friends or most of the people that I fight with, they tend to see to say, hey, your punches are raw. I don't want to mess with you. And I said, plus you're a smaller opponent. And they just leave me the fuck alone. So, when it comes down to it, when it comes to self-defense, in a real life situation, you know, I train my body, I train my mind, I train my heart and I train my soul. They all act in one. You know, I don't need none of that cheap bullshit, you know, to, you know, believe I have some type of special powers. You know, come on, guys. It's not fucking Dragon Ball Z, you know, where you're screaming at the top of your lungs and, you know, powering up to over 9,000, as Vegeta would say in the, in the Saiyan saga, or powering up to Super Saiyan mode. Come on, guys. Be real. Be realistic. Nobody is a freaking cartoon character. You know. Yes, can we train our bodies to be tough like one? Yes, you can. But, you know, it takes, like I said before, it takes fucking years. It takes years of practice and everything. You know. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a brick breaker or anything like that. But I have, I have hit boards. I've had brick boards before. Um, I broke 16 2 by 4s in 2 hours. In 2 fucking hours. You want to know how many boards I broke a piece in 2, two fucking hours? I broke um, my first hour I broke 16 16 2 by 4s in 1 hour in small pieces though. I didn't break like a big piece or anything like that, but I broke two by fours and small, like in, when they have smaller pieces and stuff, like you know how Axe Shop Tennessee's to um, tell you to get rid of stuff and they want you to cut it up into tiny pieces and everything. Well, me, I did it with my bare hands. And that's the thing. My buddy of mine, he was holding the boards. I told him how to hold the boards. I said, I need to practice from black belt testing on breaking boards. And while we're, while we're cleaning up the shop and everything, and I told him, I said, I'm going to break these boards and test my might, see what I need to work on. That's all, all board breaking is, is testing your might. Same with, same with fucking, uh, breaking bricks. You know, it's just testing your mind. You're just taking a risk breaking your hand. You're just taking a risk of injuring yourself if you don't know what you're doing. And that's the thing. Me, on the other hand, if, since I don't know it, since I don't know how to break bricks... Since I don't know how to break bricks. Since I don't know how to break bricks and anything else. Well. The thing of it is. People. I would get trained by a professional that knows what they're doing. They're trying to learn something on my own. Not knowing what I'm doing. And taking the chance. 
of hurting myself because I see it online somebody else doing it you know that's that's just stupidity and that's the thing you know people tendency to do things offline and then they get in their head saying oh yeah 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 I you know I'm a master I'm a I'm a master in martial arts whatever and they, and they proclaim that they're this and that they can take out anybody they want well me I'm not saying that you know I don't buy that bullshit but you know if you study over the years you can back yourself up then go for it but me me on the other hand I try to stay I try to stay humble I try to stay respectful all at the same time like my instructor said um, not to dis disregard anybody that what they do into their sport and stuff like that um, but the thing of it is people you know breaking bricks is all gimmicks even breaking boards it's all gimmicks why would anybody want to do that you know come on Boards and bricks, as like I said, if you want real fighting, go out. Just go out and you know have a fight one of your friends. You know, you know, ask them say, hey, I want to fight you. You know, and to say, hey, I want to spar you. You know, without gloves, test ourselves and see where you stand in your ability of defending yourself. I've done that a few times. I've done that a few times with my buddies. And they say, I can really, really, really fight. Do I break bricks? No. You can still harden your body through mental training. You don't need to break bricks to show off your freaking skill, show off your raw power. It's like I said. Bricks do not hit back. Seven Donna Four signing out. You know, if you're wanting raw combat, this is the place to be. Peace.